Vanadium stain. Vanadium is a mineral that exhibits an unsightly staining, usually red-brown in appearance. This problem is common in the Pacific as most of the silica and minerals used in render and concrete are poor quality and often contain elements of vanadium in it. Hydrochloric acid, which is often applied to brickwork to remove mortar stains and residues, should be avoided where vanadium stains are present, as a vanadium darkens in the presence of this chemical and becomes more difficult to remove. Sometimes when you rub vanadium stain with your hand, it may change colour to form a yellow type of ochre colour. As can be seen here, the paint is basically rendered useless as the vanadium attacks it. To understand how to determine a solution, we need to determine what causes the vanadium stain to react and bleed through. As we can see here, this entire surface was rendered at the same time and the same paint coating system was used throughout. So why is it that the vanadium only appears in certain areas? It is clear here in this photo that the majority of the vanadium stain appears low to the ground, where the moisture stays on the wall longer and bounces off the ground and wet grass to the wall. Up high we see evidence of vanadium stain, but it's where the substrate is most exposed and water tends to sit on the surface longer. In this photo we again see that the vanadium is low to the ground where water may puddle up on the top of this short wall and moisture will bounce back from the ground causing the area to stay wet longer. The concrete is green from algae showing that the area stays wet for long periods of time. This will contribute to rising damp on the wall. The areas that are protected have no vanadium stain and the area that is higher and gets more sun with better drainage is also free of vanadium stain. So the solution is clear. Keep moisture away from the substrate to prevent the vanadium stain appearing. How do we do this? By ensuring we have a good high build of paint to prevent moisture from getting to the substrate. This is the main reason vanadium stain appears. It's because painters were too careless about applying a sufficient film thickness build in the first place. In the Pacific, this is often the case because of insufficient training, unskilled labour applying the coating system, with inappropriate tools such as shallow paint trays, short nap rollers and cheap brushes. To prevent the vanadium stain, we need to first remove the stain. The Australian standards recommend caustic soda and caustic potash applied as a 10% by weight aqueous solution. This is a very aggressive treatment and caustic soda or sodium hydroxide is a very dangerous chemical to work with, not to mention that the high alkalinity of sodium hydroxide is very hard to neutralize. So instead of using sodium hydroxide, use sodium hypochloride applied as a 10% solution. This should be rinsed thoroughly with copious amounts of clean water after the stain has disappeared to ensure the pH level is neutral before applying the coatings. You're not likely to find vanadium stain interior except for in bathrooms, showers and wet areas. For aesthetic reasons you can't use high build membrane paint as these tend to have an unsightly textured profile. So for interior, first coat Use a solvent-based sealer, thin, to get into the substrate. Then finish it with two coats of interior latex wall paint. For exterior surfaces, the trick is to apply a good thick membrane of 100% acrylic. This will act as a barrier against moisture and you'll find it very successful in stopping vanadium stain.